this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. In hundreds of churches, schools, hospitals, and ministries, as well as in thousands of homes, the words to this old song describe our joy in sharing the good news of what Jesus is doing in our lives. Hello, I'm Connie Vandeman Jeffrey, and this is All God's People. It was just about 100 years ago that a man named Harry Dixon Lowe's wrote This Little Light of Mine, and it's been a popular song for groups of every age and every size for decades. I don't remember when I first learned it. It seems like I've always known it. How long do you think it took someone to come up with all the hand motions? Because all of us know them. Our communication team here in the Pacific Union includes a lot of great people for whom the words, I'm going to let it shine, are not just words. They are a calling. It's our privilege to share what God is doing throughout the Western United States, using every kind of media we can think of. Here are some of the ways the story of God's providence is being told here in the Pacific Union. The flagship is the Pacific Union Recorder. Since 1901, the Recorder has been the visiting pastor for our members here in the Pacific Union. Every month it includes news from our seven conferences, from Adventist Health, La Sierra University, Pacific Union College, Loma Linda University Health, Holbrook Indian School, as well as from our schools, churches, hospitals, and ministries. Six times a year, it includes the newsletter from your local conference. The devotional articles and inspiring stories that make up the recorder are mailed directly to more than 70,000 homes each month and help us keep a connection even with those members who are perhaps not as active as we hope they would be. We don't forget them. The recorder is the journal of the family of God here in the Pacific Southwest. We're also very proud of the Spanish language version of the recorder, Recorder en Español. It's a quarterly magazine distributed through our Spanish-speaking churches, and it's now in its second year. Members can subscribe to Pacific Sunrise, a twice-a-week email newsletter that brings two or three inspiring stories directly to your email inbox. And oh, the stories. I just love reading about what our schools are doing and how our young people are truly stepping forward into leadership. Now you're watching an episode of All God's People, so you must already know about this distinctive way in which we share the story of God's grace and providence every single week. But did you know that we are now in our fourth season and our audience continues to grow? Our website, AdventistFaith.com, highlights our leadership, conferences, ministries, Department of Education, publications, and media, and each page reflects our mission to live God's love. Look for it to continue to deepen and expand in 2020. A new project called News Desk is already a part of the recorder, and it will soon be found online, on the website, and throughout the information platform. It brings together reposts and original news stories from around the Pacific Union and the World Church that document the significant happenings within Adventism. Oak and Acorn Publishing is a small publishing enterprise co-sponsored by our ministerial and communication departments. It provides a more permanent environment for content in the form of books that deal with relevant spiritual issues. The newest volume from Oak and Acorn is Enjoying Your Bible by Pastor John Brunt. Even though it has just been released, it's already having an impact. All of these different outlets eventually find their way to social media, and we have actively developed ways to share them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thousands of people each week interact with us on social media, and they often share things with their networks and friends. Just one more way in which our members are letting their light shine. You can find out more about all these great ways to learn about the Seventh-day Adventist Church here in the West by visiting AdventistFaith.com slash subscribe. We call that our Engage page. It's where you can learn more and sign up for all of these media products. The link and more information can be found in the program bulletin. The most distinctive verse in the song is inspired by Luke 11:33. No man, when he hath lighted a candle, putteth it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in may see the light. But my favorite verse of the song has always been, won't let Satan blow it out. It's our joy to share these stories with you, but it's also our calling and responsibility. And I speak for our entire communication team across our union when I say we take it very seriously. For all God's people, I'm Connie Jeffrey.